Hey everyone, I hope you all are doing good and having a wonderful day. In this video, I am going to show you a very interesting way to find cross-site request forgery vulnerabilities. Okay. By default, when we are you know thinking of CSRF vulnerabilities, what we generally think is that it should be a post-based request, right? Because most of the modern application handles some really interesting data in post-based requests. For example, if there's an application which is developed in Django or maybe in uh, Express Node, right? These uh, technologies usually handles most of the CSRF part, right? And if you're talking about post-based uh, requests, so generally they actually you know. Uh, mitigate the risk of CSRF right but what I wanted to show you in this video is that how you should be thinking of uh, when you are looking to find cross-site request forgery vulnerabilities okay we are actually interested in finding the end point which is you know having some kind of impact right we need to think as an attacker and how we can find that particular endpoint this is what we're going to see in this uh, video but as always, before going to this video, if you haven't checked out my previous video, then go ahead and check it out. The link of the video is given in the description as well as you can see it at the right side of the screen. And if you're really interested in finding XSS in 2024 and bypassing some common web application firewall misconfiguration, then you should definitely go ahead and check it out. And now with that being said, let us dive deep into this video. Okay, so now let us get started. First thing is I have a target over here, which you can see. I'm just going to type the target, which is this one. Okay, I'm just going to log in into my uh, account. Fine. And you can see this is the application over here that we are just testing for the demonstration. Okay, you can see we have uh, some uh, what you can say we have some uh, functionalities over here that we can update our personal information, add some details and all those things. Right. For example, let's try to save uh, click on this update profile while turning on the intercept of burp suit. I'm just going to turn on the intercept from here and I'm going to click on update. But before that, let me make sure that, yeah, okay, I am connected with Burp Suit. Let's click on update profile. Let's go to Burp Suit. And over here, if you look closely, you can see that the request which is getting sent is in the JSON format, right? Normally, you know, uh, if there is an endpoint which is sending request in JSON uh, parameter, JSON body, it will be almost you know impossible for us to achieve CSRF over here. Now there are some ways through which we can achieve that, but we are not going to cover that in this video. Okay, I'm going to send this to repeater. Okay, and let's try to click on send request, and you can see uh, it is saying that success, your profile updated successfully. Right. Apart from that. If you see all the functionalities over here, we have a lot of other functionalities as well, right? But if you look into any one of them, so you'll see that most of the functionalities are actually post based requests. For example, if I click on this uh, button hide, okay, and let me just turn on the intercept. Let's see what we'll get. You can see again, this is a post request going on in the JSON body, which again means that this application is, you know, almost secure from CSRF vulnerabilities right now what i wanted to show you is that let's say that this particular uh, uh, endpoint or this particular functionality was actually vulnerable to csrf okay so does that mean it has any impact no right because it is just a cancel button setting right so even if the uh, the application or the bug bounty program consider this as a vulnerability they are not going to pay you much right right you need to find an endpoint or you need to somehow you know change this particular simple vulnerability so that you can increase the impact the more impact you show to the bug bounty programs or in a penetration testing the more you know uh, the more bounty and you know they will look into this vulnerability with more seriousness correct so this is what we are interested in now first thing you have understood right that uh, you need to test each of these functionalities to find CSRF vulnerabilities. Over here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to this connect merchant application. And as a normal user, I'm just going to add my UPI ID. Okay, just for the demonstration, I'm just going to add, add Batman at the rate of okay, SPI. It is just for the demonstration. And I'm going to turn on the intercept and let's click on add UPI ID. You see that there is a request going on and again it is a post request right and if you see over here it is saying batman at the rate okay spi and if we see the response uh we can clearly see that it is you know giving us 200 okay you see okay so it's giving invalid I uh, upi id because obviously the upi which i gave was invalid let me try to add my actual upi id okay 
as dot online at the rate okay spi let's click on add upi id and what i'm going to do is i'm going to just intercept the response and let us see what we will get you can see we are getting 200 okay and it's saying that merchant added successfully let's turn off the intercept and if you see over here uh, we have our upi ad, uh, id added successfully fine so we have understood that this is a post uh, request using which we are uh, you know connecting our account with the upi id now once we have connected the id you can clearly see over here that we have also the option to remove the upi id right so let's try to turn on the intercept and we are going to remove this upi id let's click on yes i am sure and if you look over here this time the request which is getting sent is logout merchant okay and if you look closely this request is a get based request now most of the people often uh, ignores get based request why because they think that it is not you know sensitive but over here i'm going to show you how this can be very interesting okay you see that it is giving the sending the end, uh, request to this particular endpoint i'm going to see the response and clearly you can see we're getting 304 not modified just going to turn it off and let's see that if we have logged out or if our id is disconnected and as you can see it is disconnected right let me see if i have sent this to repeater okay i have not sent it let me just send it real quick we are dot online at the red of spi i'm going to add the upi and i'm going to turn on the intercept let's click on remove upi and if this is the request i'm going to send this to repeater okay now first thing is that we need to understand that when we are sending the request it is giving us merchant not found why because we have just sent the request and now the id is removed from here okay and this is a get based request another thing that you can notice is over here you can see that the cookies does not have any attributes like same site or something like that right which means that we can use this cookie from anywhere on the internet like if you send the request on the browser it's going to the request is going to be sent along with the authenticated cookies fine I hope you all are getting what I'm trying to say over here. Now, what we're going to do is, see, this is a get based request, correct? And you can clearly see over here that it is saying, um, you can see that when we are sending the request, basically what is happening is that our merchant ID is getting removed. Now think for a second, like you can see that it is a UPI gateway, right? So let's say that there is a business owner who is, you know, using this particular gateway to, you know, receive payments okay and somehow using this particular uh, you can say endpoint we will be able to remove his or her upi id right now this can be something which is impactful right because this will be a business loss for this particular company correct now this is what you call an impact of this particular vulnerability right so this is what you need to find that you see when you are uh, when you have achieved a vulnerability when you have achieved csrf you need to see that what can be the impact of it from the business perspective okay or from the user's perspective correct or you can also think of ways that how as an attacker we can do something something malicious with this fine so we have identified that now let's try to see that if this particular endpoint is actually vulnerable or not so i'm just going to copy the url and you can clearly see that it is uh, a get based uh, endpoint right so it's not going to we're not going to create a very big form and you know, something like that just creating a simple form uh, i'm going to create a file let's go to pad type nano and let me just go to desktop first i'm going to type nano in desktop.html let me maximize it and we're going to create a very simple uh, html form okay so now we have created the poc file we should be seeing over here let's try to open this with firefox and now with my burp suit turned on i'm going to send the request okay and you can clearly see that this is the request going on this is the get request right and if we see the response you can clearly see it is saying merchant not found so no worries we'll do one thing we'll add the upi id from here 
फयाज अहमद डॉट ऑनलाइन एट द रेट ओके एस पी आई क्लिक ऑन एड यू पी आई आई डी एंड वॉट आई एम गोइंग टू डू इज आई एम गोइंग जस्ट टू क्विक रिफ्रेश लेट आई टू क्लिक ओवर हेयर एंड नाउ इफ यू रिफ्रेश इट यू कैन सी दैट द यू पी आई आई डी इज रिमूव राइट नाउ दिस इज समथिंग विच विल बी वर्थ कंसिडरिंग अ वलनरेबिलिटी विद अ बिग इम्पैक्ट राइट बिकॉज बेसिकली वी आर एबल टू रिमूव द यूजर uh the upi id of the user from this particular application which can be a huge business la- uh, business loss for the particular owner or this upi payment gateway uh company right so this is how you need to look for vulnerabilities so the things that you should be uh, learning from this particular video is number one that you should always look for each endpoint and you you need you need to see that how you can uh, create an impact from it right you need to take a look at all of the endpoints then you need to see that which of these endpoints are handling something interesting okay it doesn't matter if it is a get request or a post request correct even if it is a get request and it is like for example fetching something data fetching a data or maybe deleting something or updating something like over here right so you need to take a look at it because developers generally ignore get based request okay and the last thing is you should always be diving deeper into your target right for that you need to know you know a web reconnaissance in depth and to solve that i am actually launching my first ever 7 day workshop on uh, web reconnaissance where we are going to cover something really interesting so if you are interested you can go ahead and join into that particular workshop so it's going to be a live workshop where we'll we are going to see everything practically we are going to test live applications and we are just going to do web reconnaissance it's not a vulnerability assessment workshop but that will help you to find these particular misconfiguration okay so whether you are a beginner or whether you want to upskill your recon game please go ahead and check out my web reconnaissance workshop so last day of registration is tomorrow uh, which is 17th of june right so if you are interested then go ahead and check it out i am dropping the link uh, of my telegram uh, community channel from where you can enroll into this session now with that being said if you have any doubts if you have any issues feel free to let me know your doubts or issues in the comment section also do join our telegram channel as i have told you because we are launching the 7 day uh, first ever workshop and if you want to have something or if you want to discuss something we can definitely definitely do that over there as well okay so the link of the telegram channel is also displaying over here and you can just uh, you know this link is also given in the description so just check it out and join our telegram channel with that being said keep learning keep hacking and thank you so much for watching